All right, here's Team Washington. Welcome to Atlantic City. We finished in eight days, 16 hours, 39 minutes. So, how'd this all come about, and how'd you get your family to buy into this? Um, so it wasn't actually me. It was well. So I had a buddy who said, "Let's go do Ram," and uh, as a four-person team. And then I got really excited about it, and then he bailed. And so uh, I said to Lori, "I said this is, you know, we should think about doing something like this." My wife, Lori, and she said, "Well, the only the only way I would do this is if we did it with our whole family." And so we put together an eight-person team. Uh, grabbed three of our best friends and uh, and two fantastic crew and uh, put it together. Well, I think if we would have known everything was involved, we might have gotten cold feet. But because we were um, novice and uh, scrappy and had you know a lot of spirit to get this done, that's what brought us across the line. And we have a young lady here who is now the youngest female finisher of Ram ever at 13 years old. I know there's another 13 year old boy. I don't actually know who is younger. I have to go look up birthdays. Needless to say, you're a very young racer and a very young finisher. What did you think about crossing the country on a bicycle with your family? It was like, it was amazing. It was like so beautiful and it was so fun and there's a lot, but it was really cool. Um, I kind of expected it to be different. I thought it was going to be um, a lot more relaxed almost. Um, but it was so, it was amazing, it was beautiful, and it was like, it was so cool to spend time with like that many um, people, and like, it was awesome. I thought uh, Indiana was really beautiful. I was riding on this like country road with like rolling hills and grass and fields, and like, it was awesome. It was amazing. It's a, it was a great opportunity, thanks to Tim and his family. Uh, my favorite part was riding through Monument Valley. There was a 20 mile stretch up towards these incredible sculptures um, and uh, it was just one of the most beautiful rides I've ever done in my life. Uh, it was super difficult, uh, a ton of beautiful places but um, you know, it, was a, it was a really cool experience in, on the whole. Uh, I would say uh, headwind in Kansas was pretty difficult um, and then just like lack of sleep um, was the main one. Just always being super tired and kind of having to be on it a lot of the time. And how does this compare to some of the other uh, athletics you have done? Uh, definitely the most difficult. Uh, far and away, longest uh, time on the road. So I'm not gonna lie, it was it was tough. Um, but if there's two things I can take away from this experience that I think pushed us through this finish line was heart and perseverance. Um, this is definitely by far the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Um, and I wouldn't have done it without these amazing people by my side. Um, especially Inkin as well. She was kind of my rock there as we were both kind of experiencing a lot of similarities. Um, but at the same time too, all of us kind of helped each other out, picked up different loads. Um, and this was just an incredible experience. It was, it was a lot, um, but I think it was really fun and we all had a good time and got to know each other and we each had a blast. And is this something you think you'd ever want to attempt again? Uh, we'll see. It's gonna, I'm gonna need a week to, to think about it. I think it's kind of, um, it's amazing, but it's kind of like a, I feel like it's a little bit of a one and done thing, but it was, it was awesome. Okay, yeah. and what's your next sport from here? Um, I, I think I'll still do some biking, but I, I do a lot of swimming and like basketball and running and awesome.